Okay, Sagittarius, let's have a look and see who's coming in for you. Sagittarius, Oracle of Love, who's coming in for love, romance and relationships for the sign of Sagittarius. Who's coming towards you? Four of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy here with the Four of Pentacles. Now, this is someone who's quite guarded or someone who is a little bit more reserved. I feel as though this person doesn't always reveal um, a lot about themselves, about their ambition or about um, their current set of circumstances, um, their position in life, their wealth. This is someone that's quite... Um, you know, it's almost like this person is quite um, quite calm, quite peaceful and a little bit in the background. I feel as though this person isn't overly outspoken, isn't overly loud. The Four of Pentacles is someone who is quite codependent, however, so they're not overly independent is what I'm understanding here with the Four of Pentacles energy. Now, I feel as though this person possibly works with finances or protecting assets or finances. So they could be in the insurance realm. Um, they could be in the legalities, litigation, uh, possibly law, commercial property. But I feel as though they either protect um, the assets or the finances of people or of companies um, is what I think here. I also feel because of their natural practicality with money, they're quite money savvy. They're quite budget conscious um, and they're quite... They, they have a good relationship with money is what I'm seeing with the Four of Pentacles, which is good. But as I said, personality-wise, this person is quite guarded and a little bit closed off. Um, you know, they're not always a center of attention. This person is a little bit more, um, a little bit more calm, um, a little bit more withdrawn even, you know. So they could be um, very much focused on their career right now with the Four of Pentacles. They could be very much nurturing their ambition, um, career goals, etc., with the Four of Pentacles. Page of Wands, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy here. Page of Wands. This person is quite creative with the Page of Wands energy. You can see the priestess. Well, not now you can't, but you can see the priestess here and she's harmoniously and happily playing her melodic tune so I feel like this person is in their own little bubble in their own little world so to speak with the page of ones I think they do have a youthful side quite a spontaneous and adventurous side to them um, you know they can be quite passionate about what they do they may have a creative hobby of some kind they could be foreign well traveled and cultured with the page of ones as well um, I do think they have some sort of creative endeavor, some sort of musical talent or creative talent um, as well. So very nice energy with the Page of Wands. They are a mover. They are a shaker, so to speak. They're a bit of a shapeshifter. Um, sometimes they like to follow their heart. I think as much as they exercise practicality and logic, they're also very driven by their own passions and desires um, is what I'm seeing here. With the page of one's energy three of pentacles taurus capricorn virgo energy coming up again three of pentacles i feel like this person is very focused on their career and or finance um, or growing an empire of some kind here with the three of pentacles i feel like they possibly have a collaboration of sorts or you may know this person through career or through business in some aspect here with the three of pentacles i feel like they have a collaboration or they have or give financial support or investments to someone around them so they could be a venture capitalist for example um they could be someone that invests money. I think they're very much around money right now. So I'm not seeing a significant relationship around this person. I think if anything, they're just fulfilling physical desires. They're not really involved with anyone at the moment. I think all their attention and emphasis is being placed um, on career and money. They could be quite a good negotiator or a mediator. I feel like they're quite open-minded and they like to see everyone's point of view. So I think they can be quite equal. Um, they're a big believer in pursuing your dreams is what I'm seeing with the three of pentacles here. They might have been involved in a third party situation. Um, again, I'm not seeing like it's deceit. I am seeing that they've had to choose before in their life or someone around them that they deemed very important had to choose between them and someone else. It could also be um, 
when you come into each other's lives that this person has a very strong emphasis on their career um, and it could be a little bit difficult getting the relationship off the ground because this person may be very committed to their job um, or they may have a lot of um, you know demanding superiors or demanding things changes that are occurring within the workplace for them Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Energy, again, Sagittarius here with the Ace of Pentacles. This person doesn't have fleeting relationships is what I see, Sagittarius. This person is quite committed. They don't commit to someone unless they're absolutely sure they're ready to commit to them. They like longevity. I think if they have had past relationships before, they've gone on for quite a while. I don't think it's a string of very fleeting short-term relationships. If anything, they've probably had a few long-term relationships, if not marriages or something like this, because they are someone that likes stability. There's possibility for you to become um, involved in a business with this person in some um, in some capacity. Um, a business together. I'm so sorry, my camera keeps shaking. I do apologize, Sagittarius. Um, you might be involved in a business together in some sense with the Ace of Pentacles. You could be investing with them. Um, or there's, you know, something about moving in together and spending finances together. So I think this is joint accounts and things like this when the two of you come together. Um, because of this sort of energy here with the Ace. Ace of Pentacles. I do think it's a um, relationship that's that's being given to you by the universe. So on some level, you've attracted this Sagittarius. I think if you've been having a lot of you know spontaneous relationships, I think if you're craving that stability, you do have someone that is coming forward that can offer you this. Absolutely. Six of Wands, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy coming up with the Six of Wands. This person is very successful at what they do. They stand out from the crowd. They're different from other people or they're different from people you've dated. They're recognized for something that they do. Their creative talents, creative pursuits, um, you know, their work, what they do for a business, what they do for companies. Again, there's prominence around them. So they may have a large following or a large influence over people. Um, they could be like a scholar maybe, for example, and they make their money off leading. They're quite a leader, but I feel like looks-wise, this person is going to attract you because the ones can indicate lust, passion, infatuation, and desire, and I feel in terms of that immediate chemistry and immediate passion, there's no doubt that the two of you will genuinely share this when you first meet, um, but for a lot of you, I think it's someone that you'll be meeting through a career somehow, either through an introduction or a friend. But I will lay out four more cards using my Rider Waite deck to see how and when you'll meet uh, roughly. I feel like this person is the, the um, strong but silent, uh, silent but strong type, is it? I think this is this person coming through. Okay, Knight of Cups. They're very honest. They have values, traditions, beliefs, and they hold very true to that. I feel like they're a person of their word and they will always deliver. I don't think they're very evasive. I think they can be quite withdrawn, but ultimately I think they have really good values and they stand by those values, especially when it comes to relationships. Now, this is someone that has a lot of love to give that is quite intuitive and is quite expressive in their emotions once you get to know them. This is Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio energy with the Knight of Cups and they're coming forward with an ultimate offer here. So again, this comes back to what I was mentioning about this person doesn't offer their heart freely. I think once they're absolutely sure they want to be with you and they want to share their life with you, they absolutely will. Um, something about confessions and admittances um, or opening up comes up with the Knight of Cups as well. So I feel like this person is going to open up to you eventually, but you need to be extra patient with them because for them, they have to see that you're capable of that stability, Sagittarius. And although I think you may complement each other in a very um, in a very good way here because you bring um, you bring an adventurous side, you bring that passion, you know, you bring that desire, whereas they might be more practical, they might be quite logical, but I think ultimately the two of you can have something very special together because you're both bringing something different to this relationship. Um, 
but I do think they're going to very much appreciate how honest you are, how honest you are to yourself, how honest you are to other people. And I think this is really, this is something really good to have. I think it's definitely going to strengthen this relationship. Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. The Ace of Swords in this deck, it's quite an adamant energy. You can see like the sword is dug into the ground. So I almost feel like this person is here to stay. I feel like they could be very stubborn with their word or in their communication in some regard too. And earth signs can be somewhat stubborn, I suppose. Now the Ace does, uh, sorry, the swords do represent communication. So this is why I think sometimes they're quite, they like to put their foot down. And that's, that's not to say they're dominant. I just like to, I feel like they're very embedded in their values. And as a result, sometimes they can be quite narrow-minded and not as open. But I think this is why you're in their path, Sagittarius, because you're here to teach them these things. Because I don't think they've been exposed to someone like you. But the Ace of Swords does show it's a new kind of relationship for them. It's something brand new. The Ace of Swords is different. You know, it's being handed to the universe. Um... There could be complications in this relationship. There might be something to fight for here. You know, the sword can indicate battle. It can indicate hardship. It can indicate the need for protection. So for some of you, I feel like this may be coming up because, uh, you know, this, this relationship is, is something you need to fight for or it's someone you need to fight for, uh, Sagittarius, with the Ace of Swords. Okay, the Nine of Wands sort of reiterates what I just mentioned. It is fire energy, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. However, with the nine of wands, I feel like this is a card of someone going into battle, of someone having their defenses up. So I feel like there's a bit of resistance coming in from this person. Again, I feel like they may have hesitations or reservations about your connection. It's almost like you're too good to be true for them or they don't, they can't visualize themselves with you because they haven't had this before. Remember, it's all new to them. So I guess, you know, as patient as you are and as mellow as you are and as easygoing as you are, I don't see this would pose to be an issue for you. However, I do feel as though... Um, you know, there is a bit of resistance coming in from this person that they'll definitely have their guard up. Um, so I think they, ha they have gone through something where it's made them feel a little bit paranoid. So I'm just going to put that out there for some of you. But again, this could indicate the nature of their work. I do see battles with money, finances. So I feel like if this is something that they do for work, it's something that they're around them. This could also indicate they're currently going through some sort of legal battles or financial or investment um compensation cases or something like this let's have a look when and where you'll meet two of ones some of you are meeting abroad on travels foreign destinations cities towns and locations it could be on the internet as well with the two oh, sorry the two of ones i'm not sure if i said swords i meant ones um international locations i feel like there's a foreign link coming in from this person um so i do think they're well traveled they're either they either will be traveling out to the location where you're based or you will be traveling out to them but there's it's almost like it's a new neighborhood a new city it's a new vibe um and it could actually um initiate be initiated as a long distance relationship and then develop into something more long term but there will be a bit of back and forth with the two of ones Five of Pentacles, it could be a place of commerce or wealth or assistance that you, the two of you meet. It could be um, you might meet at a bank. It could be that you might meet at a doctor's office, a physiotherapy. The people are injured here at a hospital, for example, at a place of um, spiritual or physical nourishment. So it could be like at a yoga class or anything that benefits the mind, the body or soul, but most potently possibly through career or charity events even. King of Wands, if you're meeting around this King of Wands energy, it's a time where there's movement in your life or their life. Relocations of job, relocations of workplaces, um, being active. The Knight of Wands is quite an active fellow, so I feel like it could be on a jog. It could be at the gym. It could be at a time when you're moving. It's at a time when there's a lot of things happening in your life. He's Sagittarius. Um, either you're thinking about moving abroad or you're going to move abroad, and this is where this person awaits for you is what I'm seeing. Now, the Page of Cups does represent the time of a Pisces, so some of you are meeting during that time of February 19th to March 20th. I feel like there's an offer that's coming through here. Now, it is Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. I feel like there's an offer of a cup or there's an, an element where you're being offered something. So I think upon your first meeting, this person may offer you a drink, offer you some help, um, 
you know, it's almost like they're giving you something here with the Page of Cups. I also feel like with the fish emerging from the cup, it's, it's a fish out of water. So it could be somewhere that's out of your natural element or your natural habitat. Again, it could be a, a time when you're doing something new or doing something completely different, Sagittarius. And because of this, this is when this person is going to come into your path and you're going to meet. Um, but I do see a very intense first impression. And straight away, I definitely feel you'll be attracted to this person. Um, perhaps not your usual type for some, for others it will be, but the page of cups, you know, I feel like this person might keep you on your toes a little bit and that's what's going to have those conversation efforts flowing. But I do think it's either an, uh, an, a foreign meeting or possibly an online meeting here for some of you. So I will leave it at that.